Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. So today we're talking about age differences in dating and relationships and so forth, right? We're going to start a conversation. I'm curious what you guys think, right? I just read an article right now, but I realized that the article is not new. <laughs> so some of you already know this, right? Madonna was dating this like 20-year-old like 20 kid, 20 four or 25, right, for three years, and then they split. Madonna's in her 60s. That's, uh, <laughs> that's quite an age difference, right? Well over 30 years. I mean, what? <laughs> what could you possibly have in common? And then think of this, right? When you were, th if you're at least 30, when you were 30, your mate was just being born, fucking an infant, and you're like, later, fool. Your mind. I mean, what? What could you possibly have in common with that big of an age gap? In fact, they know nothing from your time. You know nothing from their time. Of course, you could do some research and be like, oh, but I like the music from their, their time. Or they said, and anyway, I get it. The, guy, the boyfriend's name was uh, Ala Malik Williams. I might be saying the name wrong. I apologize if I am. And I get it from his perspective. I mean, Madonna is famous, yo. And he is a, a dancer and a choreographer, and for sure, dating her, I'm sure, boosted his career in some way. So I get it from his perspective, right? And Madonna's crazy, right? <laughs> She's a freak. She's one of, like, the OG freaks. So I also get it from that perspective. Probably he's like, you know what? I'm going to learn some shit in the bedroom. He brought fucking notes, a tablet, or maybe, maybe he's not tech savvy. Could have been, like, writing, right? She does something. He's like, let me, let me jot that down because we're not going to be together forever. I mean, what did they do when they hung, uh, they hung, they, they hung out? What did they do, right? Like for his birthday, did they go to fucking Chuck E. Cheese? I mean, I don't get it, right? It's the same, right? I'm in my 40s. Ah, the fucking, yeah, the vape just turned off. That's what the vibration, I was like, what was that? I'm high, I'm like paranoid, like who's, who's buzzing, yo? Is there a beat? No, anyway, so uh, I'm in my 40s, right? And after I got into my 30s, I stopped dating girls in their 20s because girls in their 30s are more fun, yeah? <laughs> so, but when I moved here, it's funny because living in Barcelona is awesome. It, like, if you want to get laid, it's easy. But to, like, find a girlfriend, right? Not so easy. So beggars can't be choosers. Somebody wants to go on a date, sometimes I just go because I'm looking for, you know, to just maybe keep an open mind, whatever. In fact, I went out with like a like an early 20, like 23-year-old girl, like uh, a few years back, and I felt, like it felt strange, right? I mean, I didn't bang this girl, but and probably because I felt weird, like the whole date. However, another 20-year-old I went with, I went to town, and uh, it was nice, right? It still it had that new car smell, right? Low mileage, still under warranty. I, like, I enjoyed it, the sex part, right? But when she talked, I was like, what was I supposed to say? Like, how are your Barbies? <laughs> and I know I'm exaggerating. 23-year-olds probably don't play with Barbies, but if they do, they probably have the tree house or the beach house. They have the car. They have everything because they have a few bucks because they can work, right? <laughs> I mean, what do you talk about? How are you doing in your exams? You know what I mean? Or that's pretty cool. You're going to get your braces off anytime soon. <laughs> oh, it, it's your fifth year on your period. Fantastic. I mean, I don't know how the conversation would go, right? But what do you think? You know, what, what is the cutoff before it gets a bit creepy, right? Imagine any of your friends. I, even, I have friends here who are 10, 15 years younger than me. And uh, we hang out or whatever. And clearly, the things that we're into or interested in are different, right? Now, if you're out drinking or you're out smoking weed or you're at the house or any of these things, of course, there's. I'm not saying it's impossible to. I'm not saying I come around someone who's 18 and I'm like, I don't do that. I am high, by the way. But uh, and then I lost my train of thought. As soon as I said I'm high, my mind went blank. It's like, yo take another hit. All right, all right. I mean, we're going to we're going to start this puppy up while we're talking. But uh yeah, I don't know like what do you think when you think of someone that's 30 years, it doesn't matter who the older person is. I don't think it matters that Madonna was a woman. If she was a man, I think the same thing. Same as the movie actor just like Leonardo DiCaprio dating girls who like if they reach 25, he's like Ch -ch -ch pink slip. You're out, sweetie. You're out. Your time has expired, right? The girls he date are very much like like milk right? They have a stamp. They, it's their birthday. And when they reach a certain age, you're out. <laughs> so, uh, 
So, yeah, what do you guys think? When, when does it become creepy? At what gap? Like right now, you know, that's what the online dating is. You could even, you could pick heights, you could pick weight, you could pick uh, what color eyes. Who gives a fuck what color eyes somebody has, right? I like my eyes, but if a girl has green eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes, hazel eyes, I mean, I suppose if she had no eyes, fuck that, but if she, had, if she was a pirate, if she had one eye, that kind of be cool, right? Because then you could always make pirate jokes or arr, whatever, right? <laughs> Anyways, at least one eye, I wanted to see what she's getting into, right? So she doesn't think later on, like she's blind, and then we hook up, and she thinks I'm gorgeous, and then somehow later on she gets her eyesight, she's like, well, I thought you were, so I'm out. I know that's silly, but... <laughs> but then I think, you know, like... Eh, that, how crazy would it be to date a blind person, right? I have never done that. I'm not, I'm not sure if I would or wouldn't. It's not that I think there's anything wrong with someone who's blind. I'm just saying I have no ideas what challenges come with that, right? My brother has cerebral palsy, right? And I imagine if a girl was to go out with him, she has to see what she's getting herself into, right? And so I think... Uh, Maybe that would change some people's minds or whatever. And my brother's a good dude. He has got a great heart. He's a good person. Every time he's had a girlfriend, he spoils her. You know what I mean? I think a girl would be lucky to have him. But maybe they'd overlook him because of that. I don't know. And maybe I would overlook like a 22-year-old girl who's fucking incredible and we're meant to be just because she's 22. And in my head, I'm thinking, fuck it, I don't play with Barbies anymore. <laughs> Huh. Anyway, guys, I actually wanted to make a recipe video today, which I hope I have time to do tomorrow. I, and not exactly a recipe, just an infusion. We're going to infuse sesame oil. And the reason we're going to infuse sesame oil is because I'm going to show you guys a very easy, amazing infused stir fry. It's amazing, huh? It's better than going to like a, a Chinese restaurant and ordering some kind of stir fry. It's better. It's super easy too. So hopefully we can do the first part, which will be the infusing of the sesame oil tomorrow and then the day after or another day soon, we do the stir fry video. Blah, blah, blah. Also, we're going to smoke hash out of this puppy and I actually have a couple more vapes on the way. Um, so we're gonna have a review of the Da Vinci coming up soon. I think another one from Planet of the Vapes and uh, I'm still right now, so I'm forgetting. I think there's one more coming too. Um, Oh, I think we're getting a hash kettle. Anyway, so what do you guys think? Let's get back to this subject, we'll spend a couple more minutes on this, then I'll say, I'll bid you adieu, right? Adieu. It's supposed to be French for like chow, right? I don't know. Anyway, and my, I might even be wrong there, but I'm high, so I think I'm like, I'm trying to be creative. <laughs> it's funny, when I try to be creative, it's, <laughs> I'm more creative when I don't try to be creative because I'm naturally creative. Anyway, so. Uh, what is the age gap that you think is okay, right? What kind of dating range? Is it five years? And then does it change as you grow up? Because obviously when you're 15 or 16, probably your dating age range is one or two years in each direction, you know, give or take. And you usually probably try to date around your age. And then when you get to 20, maybe you go maybe one or two years lower and then go five years higher or 10 years. I mean, I remember I went to element, no, uh, middle school, right? I was in sixth grade, although this girl that I was in sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth grade, no, until eighth grade. So elementary school, first grade to eighth grade, this girl, in fact, she was my first crush. I'm gonna tell you guys something amazing, right? The moment where I realized I like girls is in first grade. This girl, I mean, she was beautiful, right? I mean, beautiful, long black hair. She bent over in front of me. And she was wearing a skirt and her skirt popped up a little bit and I saw she was wearing white with purple polka dot panties. I mean, for sure, granny ass panties, you couldn't see shit, but it's first grade. I mean, I don't even know, I don't remember how old you are in first grade, but you're young. And when I saw that, isn't, I don't think I got a boner or something like that, but I saw that, I was like, I like that, yo. <laughs> anyway, so let's fast forward, we get to middle school. I think in eighth grade, Eighth grade, you have to be uh, like 13 years old, something like that, right? So in eighth grade, I remember this girl had a fucking boyfriend who drove a Porsche, right? What a child molester that fool was because she's 13 years old. What does he do? And I don't know if they were fucking or not, but even if they weren't fucking, which, okay, if you're driving a Porsche, what are you doing dating a 13-year-old girl? And if they are fucking, how could it even be good, right? She's 13. What the fuck should she know? It just blows me away. 
And anyways, fool could easily, I don't know who the guy was, right? I just remember the guy picking her up from school one time and I asked her, I said, hey, who's that? She's like, oh, it's my boyfriend. Anyway, I, she didn't do it like that. She did it a little bit more animated, but uh, kind of need a wig to really get in character. <laughs> anyway, do you think uh, women have a right? Do you think men have a right? Is it an equal thing? I mean, I think it's equal. I think if anyone could do it, everybody could do it. But when, when should you say, wait a second, right? At how many years difference? Let's say the maximum age. So when you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, somewhere around there, how many years difference? 10 years? Because I think 10 years, maybe for me, in my head, that seems doable. Because if you think in your life 10 years ago, you can remember shit that you did or were like or whatever. Now you're different though, right? Because how you are when you're 20 is, when you're 25 you'll be different, when you're 30 you'll be different, when you're 35, when you're 40. Go ahead and give me that O E. 40. <laughs> so yeah, you just, you, you, you mature, you change your, your mind, your, you, you. anyway. So sometimes when you're a young couple you guys grow together and sometimes young couples will grow apart because the reality is we're all going to go through changes and sometimes those changes won't mesh with the person who used to be this way or whatever. I think 10 years is a good number. What do you think? What do you think about Madonna? Should she be sad or something like that? Oh, you lost your pool boy. <laughs> um, I think it would be expected. One of my cousins was dating this 19 year old and, when, and they were all happy and in love. And one day she, she bounced and it was unexpected. And you know, I didn't want to be a dick, but I was just thinking in my head like, what the fuck did you expect? She's 19. Homeboy is older than me, by the way, by two years. <laughs> this is a little while ago, but still, I mean, there still were at least 20 years difference, I think. So what did you expect? I mean, a 19 year old girl and a 19 year old guy doesn't actually matter. Well, you're 19, however you are in that moment, put, give yourself five years, you'll be a different person. And most people are, are not recognizable because they mature so much in that time or whatever. Anyway, guys, Dear Ganja, <laughs> I'm high, yo. I'm gonna call the video. I got four paintings I'm working on right now that really have a lot of my focus, and I wanna stay up on the, the videos, of course. So hopefully we'll see you tomorrow to do an infusion video with the sesame oil. <laughs> Guys, if you like this uh, video, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Till next time, bye-bye.